at NAB 2017. It's Kirk Harnack here along with Brad Parsons. Hi, Brad. Hey, how are you? Good to you see are, you. I'm great. You're in the uh, the Boston area, right? Do you engineering? Yeah, one of my stations is uh, WMEX, the, uh, the old standby in uh, Boston there, 1510. You had a very interesting story for the Nautel users group uh, on Sunday, and I was frankly pretty amazed when I heard it, so we, we wanted to get you on, on film here uh, talking about it. What, what's the story? Well, the, uh, what happened was is, uh, a lot of people know about MDCL, the Modulation Dependent Carry Level, and in our implementation, as your audio level goes up, the transmitter power goes down, and I said, well, I wonder if it's really worth a lot of effort to put as much audio as we can get into the transmitter to save power keeping the audio level up high. Now, now this is, you know, this is entirely backwards from what most of us engineers are used to. You modulate an AM transmitter harder with, with more positive modulation and, and more density. And you fix it, yes. And, and, well, and yeah, you go fix it. And you, you, you use more electricity in doing that. Your signal gets out farther and it's a fair trade-off. But MDCL is, uh, is this new... Backwards all that. Backwards, yes. okay, so go And ahead. it's a power saving scheme. Yeah. So MDCL in itself is, is pretty valuable. It's a great power saving scheme. But I just thought about trying to push it a little far farther where if you can keep your audio hot, it's going to keep your transmitter output turned down. Mm -hmm. And the listeners don't know the difference. It, uh, it's all still sounds good to them. And I said, well, what about putting a modern audio processor on that where you can basically keep it really hot? It doesn't sound all smashed against the wall, but you're going to save some power. And we did that, and I pretty much instantly saw that the average output of the uh, transmitter dropped by three, four thousand watts. So I said, "Well, this is kind of working." And well, it's uh, working from a AC power user's point of view, but that had to affect the coverage, didn't it? Well, it it did affect the coverage, as it turns out. And uh, you know, people, uh, old ham radio guys, we all know, talking louder it gets you a little further. So I thought I'd get some of that. But what I was amazed is how much further and. Uh, where I live is actually a uh, fringe area for the transmitter. Mm -hmm. And I go over a big hill and I lose signal and I know right where it goes away. And I was going home that night and all of a sudden I could hear it clearly, more or less static free for another 10 miles uh, going outside the pattern. Okay, now, so let me summarize this. MDCL, more modulation, more density, more consistent modulation, uses less power. But it doesn't negatively affect your coverage. It, you can positively affect your coverage with a good audio processor. If you nice and loud, and, uh, and again, everyone's talk radio. It's like they, they want to be able to hear it. You don't want to have to be a diehard listener that has to hear it. You Listeners want clear audio. And our listenability range really went, it, it was pushed out. With the fringes moved out. I want to point out that some of our viewers right here, if you want to know more about this practice, MDCL, the major transmitter fa manufacturers offer this on their transmitters. Yours was on a Nautel, yes. a somewhat older Nautel, but you were able to modify it, right? Yep, it was uh, upgradable, so we did that. And again, that was major savings. And, yeah. and we've seen savings as well with the uh, new audio processor. But the big magic was the, uh, the coverage. I expected a little bit of you know increase, but it was just really dramatic. And our station owner... You know, everyone's budgets are tight and all that, and they said, well, we just don't know if we can do this, so maybe we can do it some other time. And I, I removed... That is the you, this audio process. You had on demo, the audio yes, process. Yes, yes. And so when we did that, uh, I took it out, and uh, I didn't have a chance to ship it back for a few days. And uh, after about four days, I was actually going to ship it that afternoon. I got an email, can we still buy it? They were getting complaints from all our new listeners. It was pretty... We, we can't hear you anymore. It was dramatic. Oh, and uh, they said, no, we want the processor. They, they, they heard about it, which is a short timeline. And people just started, no, nope, we can't hear you, all the new listeners. Where'd you go? So this, uh, this audio processor was an Omnia what? Uh, what we used to have was an Omnia 3, which yeah. isn't too bad, but yeah. it's like these days uh, things have changed in a few years. Yeah. So it's a dramatic improvement. It sounds better, too. I'm not, I'm not Mr audio processor guy, but I, I notice it a lot. It's just clean, crisp, but it's, uh, you know, when I talk to the golden ears around Boston, they you guys sound great. <laughs> and uh, so... Well, that, that new one is an Omnia 9, right? It's an Omnia 9 okay. is the uh, the new one. So, uh, the and we have it in AM mode, so the Omnia 9 AM. And uh, so, no, and we gave in uh, the audio watermarking is, you know, it's got insert points for that, so we're yeah. even getting a little boost there. 
So. I'm really glad to hear about the cost savings of MDCL. Yep. Uh, look that up if you need to. You'll save money. And uh, uh, we've all heard that the, the the power is in the sidebands. That's where you need to have your power. And MDCL even points that out even more, that that's true. Yep, yep, absolutely. And, uh, and again, I mean, it's just marrying the two technologies, it seems to me that they were made to go with each other. They uh, And it that was, again, I... I it seems like I was the first to think of it, but I'm sure I wasn't. But uh, but it is again. It's a it's a good story. Uh, at least I think so. And uh, it convinced uh, the station owners. They we bought it. Yep. And we're loving it still. And the trend with the uh, electric savings is still going. So. So MDCL okay. saves electricity, saves money. Get a great processor like the Omnia 9, modulate really hard and sounding good, and actually get more coverage area. And your owners and your salesperson will love you. Cool. Yes. Brad, thank you so much for that story. I really appreciate sure, that so much. I'm Thanks, Kirk sir. Harnack at the uh, NAB here in the Telos booth at NAB 2017.